Welcome to the Arts in Medicine studio. Today we're going to look at a painting that makes me smile and feel and curious. So I decided to just hand it out to the great Cynthia Adler and see what she sees in it without telling her a thing about the painting. Let me call Lizzie to help me here. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Nitsa. How lucky are we? We have uh, Cynthia Adler writing another poem about a very important painting that was made at the Arts and Medicine Studio. Here it is. Wow, check out this painting. This is a large painting. It's 24 by 18. The background is black, looks like space with a crescent moon on the top left corner and lots of finger prints that look like stars and planets. On the bottom of this painting, there's some kind of a figure that looks like a fish or a swimmer, and it's made with colors, primary colors like red, yellow, and blue that mix into orange and green that creates some type of fiery movement of this figure or character that's swimming across. We didn't tell Cynthia Adler anything about this painting and its creation. We just wanted her to feel it and write a poem. The Yellow Bird by Cynthia Adler. The yellow bird with skinny toes had one big eye but a much bigger nose. He hung around up in the sky on a pole that resembled a great big hose. While a sweet little bluebird just gave him a hug, a green little bear gave the bluebird a tug. And as they stayed up there so high in the sky, a flock of round stars came and floated right by. They stayed huddled up there so long, and here's why. It was higher than anyone ever did try. Yet sadly they knew they would have to leave soon. But for now, they were thrilled. They were over the moon. Wow, that was such a beautiful poem. I love hearing Cynthia's voice and listening to how creative she was in her interpretation of this painting. I wonder if other people might have different interpretations or whether this painting brought to mind any other words that you might use in a poem. That's a great idea because this painting has been viewed from all four sides, horizontal, diagonal, upside down, and it always looks amazing. Why don't you turn this painting around and let us know which way does it looks the best for you? Send it to amnita at gmail.com. Thank you, Cynthia Adler, for inspiring us to write poetry as art. And happy spring to everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.